Looking at the Enocraft Max Heat. Now this is a 220 volt hardwired heater for your garage or shop. This is the 7,500 watt model, so it's good for spaces up to about 750 square feet. The most important things on this are the wiring specs, and on this 7,500 watt version, you'll need a 45 amp breaker, as well as minimum eight AWG solid copper wire. It's got a really clever mounting system and that can handle a variety of different angles, whether you've mounted that on the ceiling or on the wall, and then just tighten up the knobs. Access the electrical connections by removing a single screw here and opening up the hinge panel on the bottom of the heater. Like most 220 volt heaters, installation is simple. There's two hot wires here and then your grounding screw is here, but it is recommended to have this installed by a licensed electrician. And despite the similar size to a typical 1500 watt milk house heater, there's no comparison in the performance here. In fact, the Enocraft Max Heat in the 7500 watt variety is rated at 25,500 BTUs per hour. So if you've ever been frustrated by running multiple small heaters in the shop and actually failing to keep up on your temperature requirements, just realize that this won't trip the breaker because it's hardwired into 220 and because it's thermostatically controlled, it's actually more environmentally friendly as well. Now an interesting feature that I really appreciate, the fan will continue running for a couple minutes after you turn the unit off and that's just to cool down the internal heating element. Your electrician will pop out the appropriate knockout to get the heater wired up. Of course, you'll hardwire this and mount it to either the ceiling or the wall with the included bracket. And I'm really impressed with how quiet the machine is. Just 53 or 54 decibels at 5 feet away or 51 decibels 10 feet away. The remote is nice and responsive, and the mode can be selected fan on, auxiliary fan, or fan off. And you can select what temperature you want, and the unit will pump out the heat until it reaches that temperature, and then it'll automatically shut off. And I really like that you get a current temperature display on the front of the heater. Other features you get are a timer mode, 1 through 12 hours, and the unit will automatically shut off. And you can also choose your display mode, either Celsius or Fahrenheit. And there's individually adjustable louvers, so you can direct that heat just where you need it in your garage. Now there are some setback requirements to consider, so be sure to read your owner's manual in detail, but the included bracket takes care of a lot of that for you as you install it to the ceiling or wall. But what really surprised me is the outer shell of this heater stays cool to the touch. And I just love all the functions on that full feature remote control. There's a toggle switch on the back of your heater. And if you plan to use the included remote control, just have that on the one setting. Otherwise, if you want to put it on an external thermostat, select the two setting. So if you've decided that you need a heater for your garage or workspace, I would say this Enocraft Max Heat in the 7500 watt version would be a great choice for medium sized shops.